And we are live. Back with Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Let's see. Yep, I already got access to the to the other two DLCs. Through the ashes and the inevitable access excess. So, you know, that's something to look forward to later. Now I am in the last part of Threshold. I just unlocked the final rank of the Mythic Path. Alright. You transform? You already did that already. No, no, I, I still have to do that. I'm going to do that this time around. Last I left off, like, they just did the little thing where he bursts with energy and I have to go through and level everyone up. Or the mythic, choose the mythic path choice. All right, let's see. Hmm. There we go. All right. Let's get these out the way. Can I just click that? Alright, so the mythic level 10 for Daren is apparently whatever I damn well please. It's the only one that's not choosing an automatic progression thing. Oh. What you choose? I can choose an extra mythic feat or mythic ability. Hmm. Improved initiative. Don't really know what I give Darren. He already got all the abundant castings. Uh, let's see. Should I Wait. No, no. I don't think I did. I thought I did. Hmm. Wait, maybe it's an extra mythic ability? Yep. I guess I'll just choose that. Improved Abundant Casting. Or I can choose something else. Hmm. I honestly don't know. What would you give Daemon? Anything special besides the healing? Hmm? Not really. Healing's all he's really got going for. Oh. Yeah, you right. Give me that. All right, with that out the way, um, defensive options, 
I can choose Toughness Mythic Feat. It doubles the hit points he gets from the Toughness Feat. And then the Redundant. You gain Damage Reduction 10 Epic when you're below zero hit points. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, Mythic Resolve. You get plus ones on all saving throws plus an additional hit points equal to your mythic rank, which would be 10. Just 10 extra hit points. Hello, Atrocious. Hmm? No, it's only one, so I'm not sure if I should get that or like just an extra feat or an extra myth mythic ability. Where everybody gets hits. I guess extra mythic ability. But then the question still comes, what do I what do I go for? I can get beneficial curse. I get another oracle curse, but no penalties. I guess that? So what kind of curse are you going for? Uh, let's see, there's apparently one, two, three, four, five. There's eight choices. Wolf scarred face. Hmm? How's your day at work? Ah! Not as bad as I thought. And I'm back. Now, yesterday it was fucking terrible. I wound up collapsing as soon as I. <laughs> as soon as I could. Like, goddamn. Uh, having to work in the evening is terrible. Did you get asked out? Yup. You know when you ha when you think, oh boy, I sure do enjoy the fact that I have a day off. I can't wait. And then you get called and he's like, hey, you know you're going to have to pay your bills, right? So when can we expect you into work? And it's like, fuck. And that's pretty much it. But, you know, today wasn't so bad. How was, how was your day? As I struggle to figure out what I'm going to get here. Let's see. Demonic. I mean, poison, bonus against fear. Main weapon becomes chaotic. Hellbound is pretty similar. Except immunity to fire. Lame. One of your legs is permanently wounded, reducing your baseline speed by 10. Oh, pretty good. Clean a part of the fridge. Met a new potential housemate. I'm wondering how I'm gonna pay rent this month. Oof. Well. Congrats on the new potential housemate. Everyone has their struggles. I wish I had an honest answer for you. I was lucky enough to get a job and then get two. Having to be tired from a day or two and not being able to keep a consistent stream schedule is, are suck as downsides, but yeah, at least I have uh, at least I have the ability to make a, make a living. Um, hmm. That sucks. Do you... Well, yeah. I hope you do ha like you can get work eventually. Or maybe you do have a job that just doesn't pay enough. Mm, fuck, man. That's a pain in the ass when that happens. Ah. Uh... 
Sorry, Atrocious. I wish I had the ability to give the adv advice. But I'm not particularly equipped with the know-how on how to job hunt in Australia. Wait. Are you from Australia? I think that... I think you were the one who said you're from there. Or I could be thinking of someone else. Hmm. Well, be that as it may. Uh, I guess we'll get back, focus on the stream at hand for now. Not from Australia. If I were, I'd be a ranger. Me. Uh, let's see. The mythic, the beneficial cursing, you get the curse benefits, but without the penalties. Because literally every type of fauna in Australia wants to kill you. That's not a good thing. <laughs> no. Huh. Wait, where are you from then? If you don't mind my asking. If you don't want to say, then, like, don't, don't bother. Like, there's no pressure. Alright, uh, let me see. What, what were these other things? Alright, lame. Base movement speed is down, but that doesn't matter. You're immune to fatigue condition, but no exhaustion. Belgium. Oh, cool. We have chocolate and fries. I thought Belgium was known for their waffles. No. But there, there are... The How many restaurants go out of their way to sell a Belgian waffle tea? So are you French? No, I'm Belgian. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. See, speed is never reduced by armor, immune to the exhausted condition, All right, plagued, and yes, we have waffles too. Everyone has waffles, but <laughs> I'm just saying, but, yeah, but every every restaurant over here likes to uh, sell a Belgian waffle, like it's just a next level waffle. It's Waffle Plus if it's a Belgian waffle. And I say Waffle Plus because they'll charge you extra <laughs> if you say you want a Belgian waffle as opposed to just a waffle. waffle. <laughs> or let go of it's got to be head. really good. You're going to have to cost me an extra $2, $3. Uh, let's see. Plagued. You suffer from minor ailments and sicknesses while you struggle to resist new diseases. You've grown accustomed to the many inconveniences of sickness. Minus one penalty on all saving throws against disease effects, but immune to the sickened condition. Add pox postules to the list of second level oracle spells now. Gross. Tenth level increases save of any disease effect you create by plus two. And by fifteenth level, you're immune to the effects of disease. Pranked. Capricious Fae constantly bedevil you. <laughs> Playing pranks on you, such as tying your shoelaces together, hiding your gear, making inappropriate noises or smells at formal events, and mimicking your voice to tell embarrassing lies. In addition to any social consequences of such mischief, you take a minus four penalty on the initiative checks. Add fairy fire to your list of spells. No, that ain't worth it. Fifth level, add glitter dust and mirror image. That ain't worth it. At tenth level, add confusion to your list as a fifth level. That ain't worth it. At fifteenth level, add insanity to your list of spells. No, that ain't worth it. Why would you want an extra curse? Well, it says it gives me a curse without the without the um penalties. So whatever I get, it's just bonuses. Plus, I can't think of anything to really give Daren anyway. At this stage in the game. Where this is the last uh, mythic uh, 
ability I can give him. Wasting, your body is running away. Your body is slowly away. You take a minus four penalty on charisma checks, except for persuasion skills when used to intimidate. You gain a plus four competence bonus on saves against disease, immune to sickening condition, immune to disease, immune to nauseated. Huh. And last, we have the wolf scarred face. Your face is deformed. As though you were born with a wolf's muzzle instead of an ordinary nose and jaw. So you're a furry. Okay. We'll make him a furry. <laughs> See, what does this do? You gain a natural bite attack. Nah, that sucks. Add magic fang. Yeah, that's worthless. At 10th level, the damage to your bite attack goes up. <coughs> At 15th level, add greater magic fang to your list of spells known, and damage dealt by your bite attack goes up. And if I ever want to make a melee spellcaster and I think of oracles, I'll think of that. And then I'll put, and then I'll make it an oracle kitsune just to mock the whole. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're cursed with the wolf muzzle. I'm like, yeah, what? He sure is. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Clearly, the Oracle came out before the before Pathfinder added the Kitsune race. Uh, none of those curses seem particularly great. Even if I don't get the penalties, the benefits aren't really worth it. Let's see. Greater Enduring Spells. I guess I could just get Improved Abundant Casting. Don't really use 4th to 5th levels. Or fourth to six level spells compared to seven and higher, but whatever, it's better than nothing. Let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll stop there. Hmm. Alright. There you go. Why not greater enduring spells? Oh. Remember, the game only... The, I I chose to do the... What, what is it called? The recommended leveling path. Like, for example. If I hit for a Ruchelet, it already has it selected. But in Dayron's case, as soon as I got around to Mythic Rank 8, it just stopped telling me what to pick and said, just pick whatever. It's it, like the game's recommended level up gives up on Dayron <laughs> around 8th eighth, around eighth Mythic Rank. Like they didn't expect you to keep the... Like the, the, still in your the, party? The, the developers didn't expect you to put up with them for this long. So they, so the path they chose wound up getting them everything but the abundant casting up to a point. Right, uh, critical, improved critical mythic for longbows. Go for it. Then for Queen Galfrey, the game gives shield focus mythic. Add your shield bonus and your shield enhancement bonus to your touch AC. Sure, why not? Then Ember, Destructive Shockwave. What? Whoa. Why? Whenever you miss with a melee attack, the target well. still takes damage equal to your strength bonus. S what? Oh, yeah. Huh, yeah, let me go back. What is your strength bonus, Ember? 13. Mm. Technically, it supposed to be 15 if I didn't cast reduced person but still the, the game doesn't give her the game also didn't give her melee touch spells so it's incredibly redundant what are they doing who made this recommended path all right well whatever oh never mind 
It's in the same boat with da as Damon. It's our it's already done with her. You can just pick whatever. Well, she's already she's already got all the abundant castings, so that's useless. Um, let's see, mythic resolve. Yeah, flawless attacks. What to go for? Hmm. Um, school mastery? It's like one school of magic. Hmm. All spells you cast have the caster level increased by one. Invocation? Ah, oh, she's already got an invocation. Or evocation. So that's no good. Point blank shot. Your increased accuracy with ranged attacks is unmatched. The bonus is increased, but increases to plus two from the point blank shot fee. I, I guess that. Okay. Is there any other ability I would have? Boundless healing? No. She doesn't have, she has mostly just fire spells, so elemental barrage isn't really all that great of an idea. Spell focus, and they, um, spell focus. No. Oh. No, nah, she's already got spell focus. A, even the mythic spell focus, oh, so okay. it's like, yeah, she, she's Probably covered. She's got it covered. Yeah. Witch Wandering Hex. Okay. You can make your patron give you additional powers. Let's see, this ability lets you select any witch hex and grant you the ability to use the selected hex. Okay. See, I can't even choose several of these ranged ones because they specifically say ranged weapon attack, so I can't. Because I like to use her Scorching Ray and Hellfire Ray all the time. But since the, all these ranged ones say ranged weapon attacks, it's kind of, they cover, they cover their bases. I can't combine that. Let's see. Alright. Um. Alright, screw it. What is it? Sorcerer's Reflex? You can cast the first spell after an initiative roll as a swift action if the spell is either first or is at least two levels lower than the maximum level of spells you can cast. Sorcerer's Reflex does not work with zero level spells, cantrips, and dwarfs. I guess I'll get this. Sorcerer's Reflex. Let's go. Sila. What are you grabbing? I guess everybody's in this boat. I can get whatever. However, in her case, I think destructive shockwave makes a lot of sense. Whenever you mess with a melee attack, the target still takes damage equal to your strength bonus. Or I could give her improved critical. Yeah, I guess improved critical. <laughs> And last, for Lewis. Guess I'll choose the gold dragon path as it's the only thing left here. Yeah. Alright. The six sneak attack.
Let me think. What to grab? I already chose what I already have. Let's see. It's dazzling display, improved critical for scimitars, myth mythic two weapon fighting. Weapon focus mythic. Yeah. Let's see. Cleaving finish. Improve cleaving finish. Hammer the gap. All right. What should I go for? Whenever I miss with a melee attack, it'll start. It'll keep doing damage. Let's see, maybe I should get destructive shockwave. Yeah, I miss an awful lot, especially when they throw enemies with seventy plus tar like armor class and crap like that. Yeah. We still take the damage. Chip damage, yep. Maybe. yep. All right, we'll go for that. Destructive shockwave. I also get because of the gold dragon, perfect soul, which grants me immunity to cold, fire, acid, and electricity damage. All my damage is now holy damage. Any spells dealing damage now change. Oh well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Highest ability score increases to plus eight. Oh, I'm also immune to energy drain and negative energy. All right. Behold the golden rapper. Okay. Battle the weights. Let's turn to a dragon. All right, let's see here. My bonus to hit is 47. But if I'm in human form, my bonus is 50 on the first attack. Oh, 51 and 50 on the first two attacks. Then it goes down by 6 every attack. Or no, by 5. So it's either a consistent 47 or constantly lowering. Alright. Well, let's save so I don't have to do this all over again. Be the hero once again. We'll make things right. We sure will. Because we're the good guys. That's how it to works. Hell to you. Yeah, we'll clean up that too after we clean up the abyss. <laughs> oh. Alright. Let's see. Constantly attack with this. Everybody go after the storm caller. Except for Damon. You run. Who should I you go after? I will resist. Yeah, you go this way. Uh yeah. What you have? Uh, someone on dead. I do, but I never use it. There is, of course, other enemies. Let's see. Darren, what can you use? Destruction? I will fight to the last breath. 
<laughs> this is not going to work out. But turn base. Alright. Stop screwing around, everybody. Ember. Right. Hit somebody. Okay. Darren, the one thing you can do well, uh, cast heal on me. I believe in the commander. I believe in the commander. I believe in the commander. Right. <laughs> no one believes in each other. No one believes in the commander. No one in the commander. Oh, crap. Uh, well, here's hoping. Into the fray. Missed through the concealment. At least one attack went through. Oh, there's a Baylor. That's his. That, that's lovely. Okay, what else we got? Firestorm. We got a Marilith, a Baylor Ravager. I really should kill this. I want to try to kill this guy. Stop roll Two net ones in a row. Good job, Verushile. Quit daydreaming. Miss. Alright, every miss is still hitting for 16 damage. That's a lot of 16s I'm seeing. Get a second turn? A string of attacks, I guess? I'm not sure why we're getting extra turns here, but. but I guess it's how fast he has got. But okay. Alright. Okay, it works that bad. It's a longer glitch, isn't it? Yeah. There. Then I could have you heal, but no, let's go all in on this. Try to kill this. Right. We'll try. And fail. Indeed they do. And that's why Damon's your personal heal bot. From the dis from the sidelines. He, he gets the cast from way over here. Oh no! The Baylor turned around just to whack the Damon for healing. He immediately he immediately 180s to say fuck you. Damn, you do it. Oh now he's focusing on Damon. But he's got the Last stand thing, so he can't die from the first initial attack that we kill him. Right. Um. Yeah, I. Will focus on killing you with. Well. We gladly know you. All three. All her bolts hit, they just all fail to overcome spell resistance. Woo! I just needed a 10 or higher. God damn. <laughs> you ever lose a million... How, how many coin flips can you lose in a single, in a single round of combat? Hmm? Tigaris out. You're getting close, bud. You got past those shit Galu storm cars. <laughs> yup. That is the true final boss of this game. <laughs> I don't care what you are. You getting to cast two AoE spells in a single turn is BS. Especially since the likelihood of me making the save was so low. Alright, uh, just breathe on him. Just breathe on Balor. Balor. And then just run up. Smite evil. 
Go get him. Miss, miss, miss. It's like, well, when you only roll a two or a three on the die, and all four attacks, I can't even blame it on, I can't even blame it on, oh, my bonuses are weak, or the enemy's really overpowered. It's just, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like what? All right, let him have it. All right, so. Oh yeah, I wish I wish you could turn gold into damage. That would make fights so much easier. Um, there's this one MMORPG I played. Mm -hmm. That statement reminds me of that ability. It, it's a really great, it was a really great MMO when I started it. It's called Ragnarok Online. There was this one mm -hmm. class called the, that was literally called the Merchant Class. And the, yeah, the, yeah. their best ability was they could take the money they gained and throw it at the enemy in order to do a crap ton of damage. It was honestly among the some of the most damaging abilities in the game. The problem was it's expensive as all hell. Yeah, it was like a beginner's trap spell. You could get it at the you could get it at the early stages of the game, even though you had no way of making the money to make up for it. Ah, nostalgia. <laughs> all right, I I could. Baron, I don't want you to die, so I'm going to cast a AoE heal mass over here. For his turn. And he missed him. All right. Scorching Ray the Bay of the Lord. Alright, here we go. The Baylor is nothing compared to the Stormcaller. Get out of the demi plane. Like this is ridiculous. I I really don't like this. When the, when games release an enemy that is more powerful than bosses, it, it's just too much. All right, save last stretch. Here we go. This is Sparta. All right, uh, they, they they sent him off the cliff side, so huh? Like his sword clipped off over here. So can I click it? No, I cannot. All right, no, I got it. I got to click on a different body, and it gives me the ability to loot everybody around him. So I still got the freaking Baylor. Not sure how a single arrow sends a, ba a giant Baylor careening into a freaking volcano pit, but okay. And it won't do it during combat, only only when it's time to try to get treasure. There's nothing else here. Oh, you can go over here and check. I can get yeah, it. I, yeah. The gold dragon is apparently immune to all forms of energy damage. Oh man, I really should have gone for that sword and shield build after all. Because I could have given him the this shield, the assertion of dominance. While at full health, I'm also immune to slashing and piercing damage too. So I could be the immune to slashing, thing. piercing, fire, electricity. <laughs> oh, what else did this give me? I think it's not so much that they're worse, it's just that they're trash mobs, so you can't afford to use your big cooldowns on them. I mean, drop a guarded hearth, mark of justice, etc., and they'll drop like flies, but it leaves nothing for boss encounters unless you rest constantly. Yeah, chances are I should probably... I, actually, wait, can I? I can. I, hold on. Is this real? Yeah, yeah, we can just take a nap right, right, right here. This is, this is what we call game balance. This is fair. 
This is justice. <laughs> So we're gonna take a we're gonna take a long rest in the abyss. Um right in Arushale's demi plane. I don't have anyone to stand watch here. I mean I could have Arushale do it, but she gives me a guaranteed pass on on the camouflage, so I'm gonna go for that instead. I can't have I can't make food. But I can take a nap. Sucks. All right. Rest up. Just it it went off without a hitch. We failed to weaken the effects of the impact of the corruption, but we'll be fine. Okay. A corrupted golden dragon. So. Rules the iron fist. Sure. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Every encounter that was hard in the game just became standard with armor class stacking and guarded hearth. That one spell is just insane. What is guarded hearth? I also use shaken, mark of justice, scald rag, or scald rage. I get like plus 36 to hit. Oh, plus 36 is nice. I'm rocking a plus 50. For the first, for the first two attacks, you know, but it still, it still counts. What else we got? Plus thirty-eight. Plus twenty-seven. Oh my God, Galfrey, why do you suck? Plus thirty-three to hit for all of Rushley's attacks. Because for reasons, I guess. Yeah. All right. So you put on the, um, you know, deadly fight and all of those. All right, we'll, we'll cast a quick blast here, which gives a morale, oh man, it's a morale bonus, which means it doesn't stack with the blessing of luck and resolve, which gives a plus two. And then, oh my god, are you kidding me? Wait, does it all stack? Because Heroic Invocation gives a plus four. If this all works out right, it's actually a plus seven bonus. Nope. Did you get plus four there? No, well, wait. Oh, no, it only counts the Heroic Invocation, which is a plus four. Okay. Well, we'll make do. 36 plus on top of my basic. So my Ivu had a total of plus 80 or so. Yeah, that's what we call balanced. Oh, hold on. I welcome your company. While I might have immunity to all the damage types, everyone else is not so lucky. So we'll get them out the way. Did, I did make sure to actually properly... Yeah, okay. I did make sure that... Galfrey's spells were put on to were right. properly no um you know put into the spell book so that they'd be replenished Guarded Hearth is a community domain AoE spell sacred bonus to hit and saving throws equal to wisdom modifier oh my god it lasts one hour per level. Shit. Should have been making use of that. What am I doing? <laughs> Clearly, I made the wrong build choice somewhere down the line. Let's see. 
Is there any other buff spells to throw out here? Oh yeah. Angelic Aspect Greater. You are Galerion's last hope. And mine. Hmm? Yeah, but Priests of Arastal are hard to play. Wait, I thought community a domain was like I could be a priest of Abadar. There, he's a community domain, right? Yeah, he's not just law. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah. Just yet. Let's see, what we'll go for protection from law. I played social and got it through impossible domain mythic. What's your alignment? My alignment? My alignment is, you know, it's it, it's a, it's good. It's good. It, I think it's still neutral good. Could be chaotic good now. No commun community is a rasto. Yeah. Social, sorry, not social. What? Oh. I played social and got uh, impossible. Oh, okay. You play you you had to you had to corrupt your morals. <laughs> I understand. Some people choose the some people choose the the path of evil in order to you know the lesser evils. I understand. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I will die on this hill. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, great. Cool. Veil of Heaven. And that. Archon's Aura. Uh, Crusader's Edge onto yourself. And we'll use Eagle's Soul later. Crusaders this and your Archon's Aura as well because the enemy would have to save against every Archon Aura not just one that's everyone I think no no you um still got 14 hours of mage armor from the last rest you're fine Cast that. What else do I need? Oh, yeah, yeah. Death Ward. Put Death Ward on everyone. Oh, my God. I really don't like that glitch. Like, anytime um, Ember casts Death Ward on someone, it's refreshing, it's immediately slingshotting the menu back to zero level spells. It's not the end of the world, it's just tedious. Alright, let's go. Oh, some, some people I forgot to loot. A Melzin. Right, I forgot to loot the poor the poor little inevitable. He didn't give me a choice. I thought there were multiple community deities. Ember nearly ruined my entire final boss encounter. How? Did she say let's be friends? You should not have come here. I, Arilu Vorlesh, the one you call the betrayer, have nothing to offer you but death. Karamzade, I will give you the chance to avenge your death. Rise. Curse you. 
Mortal scum, you have struck ice into my heart. I will devour your souls to loosen its freezing grip. The hell? No! Why, well, I'm really feeling the effects of not having Regil in my party. Now I only have six units I can control. Dispel magic? No, weird. To automatically kill. What is that? What did you kill? I can't pause it to double check. Rimsida reborn. A Glabrizu. A mythic Glabrizu. Alright. Wait, what are you doing? Is Wolders just gonna move? So, wait, is the entire party just gonna move on their own? See, so I need to use the bolts, but I forgot my Grandmaster Rod was on, so her Hellfire Ray went mad and nearly one-shot a boss. I think he had 4 HP. Wait, how's that ruining a boss encounter? Oh, I get it. Well, I'm just going to make a break for it. Well, all said and done, I still have to deal with the Glabrizus. Alright, first things first, though. Take advantage of the fact that she can summon. Summon a monadic deva. Which automatically summons a shadow demon. So this is a thing, great. And I was trying to have as little companions as possible. <laughs> Cause I had him with Bolt before he died. We expect her to turn into the Death Star. <laughs> Just, if it helps, you don't really have to worry here. I don't think so. I'm basically sell the encounter for you. Oh, that's a relief. Cause otherwise I'd have to rely on this this horrible abomination. Let's see, can you even do anything right? Went cast winds of vengeance. And then just run. I don't know. What is this? Run over here. Go get yourself killed. Go get him, Socio. Get get dancing. Eighty feet of movement for Seer Paladin. <laughs> Tell me the story. How come you hate Socio? What? How is it not obvious why everyone should hate Socio? 
Fuck this guy. <laughs> this is, there's no story to tell. It's just the natural way of things. I feel like there's supposed to be some special reasons. Like, that. It's the obvious reasons. Alright, let's see. What can... I'm now actually using land with his 80 feet of movement. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. Is, what's over here? Terendalev, you're looking in this direction. What is here? Okay, n nothing. Got it. You're just staring off in the distance. What do we got over here? We got... Mythic Panage, we got Stormcaller. Okay, this is actually the first time I'm actually looking at Lon. He wasn't my least favorite by a long shot. He hates Socio because his portrait is better looking than his. It's not better looking. He's just obnoxious and hiding his evil nature. He's clearly a horrible person. There's no such evil worse than the ones that convince themselves they're good. And yes, I'm aware. You gotta watch out for him. Alright, now, let's see. What does Lon do before I screw this up? He's using the Trevor portrait, right? Who the hell is Trevor? Yes? I don't know what you're talking about. Restoration. Key power abundance that no, don't use that. Scorching ray, no. Don't use that. Key power spit venom. Oh my god, I don't know what to do with this. Um so Does anyone else here play monk? Guessing you didn't let him paint you naked then. No! What the hell? I, I mean, I told da I told Darren to fuck with him to, like, distract him. While I snooped around Darren's mansion. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, we got extra attack. Get one additional unarmed. Oh, it's an unarmed strike, so that's worthless to me. Perfect strike. Free action. Let's declare you're using this before you make an attack roll. You can roll your attack twice, take the higher result, and attempt a perfect strike once per day, every four levels you have attained this. Zen Archer gets this at level 1. Even if it doesn't meet the prerequisites, a monk may attempt a perfect strike any number of times per day equal to monk level plus. Okay. So just gives advantage on all attacks. And it's a free action, so sure. And then we have. So. True Strike. Spend a key point. The next thing, the monk's next single attack roll, if made before the end of the next round, gets a plus twenty insight bonus. Oh, screw that! I don't need to waste that. Um, what else do monks get? Uh, yeah, no. I'm gonna cast. I guess extra attack. Does extra attack work with the monk? We'll find out. And then. You crossed the wrong monk. You kidding me? Don't. Don't. No way. Hold on. Did I not give you anything? No, I did. You just ran up and tried to punch him. Okay. What? 
I expect my lawn as a divine hound slayer. Well, that's probably better than what I got going for me. And then way over here. Oh, Windowog's not going to help either. Or I can't control her. So Waljif and Windowog won't do anything particular here. Holy, holy people. Hmm. Gotta hit the bed, but good night and good luck. Thank you. Not really sure how much I'll need it. Oh, oh, well, never mind. He, he hit for seven damage. I'm gonna need all the luck I can get. And then, what else we got? We got Hillor. The Pathfinder. Here he goes. He ran up, and that was it. Me and me. Okay. Nice now. Here, Beth. Who is this? Chief Saul. All right, Arabeth, show us what you got. No, she she walked up, and she's ready to take the first hit. Chief Soul runs up, runs past the Galu, takes an attack of opportunity, and drops dead. That, okay, good job, Soul. Way to go. All right. We got Camellia. Free action, shape change. Yeah. I can shape change her into a wyvern. Smilodon. Shambling Moan, Water, and probably, oh, Dragon Kind 3. Yeah, that, that's the ticket. We'll go for one of these. Turn into Red Dragon. Huh. Never noticed Soul was a shortened version of an, a vassal. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, I don't think there's any particular... I'll have her turn into a red dragon just so I don't have to deal with a lot of the fire magic that will probably come their way. And with the extra added movements, just go over... What else do they have aside from that? Yeah, Karamzada. Yeah, we'll have her go over here. At the very least, fire magic won't be as effective against her. The mongrel brute moves up and hits for 87 damage. Okay, the followers at least know what to do. Trendelev just. You know, doing her best. You know, she, she's moving quite fast because she lost a lot of weight. Gray boar. Not really much to do with gray boar. Can't even use his quarry ability yet. Just have him run up.
many times can you use Master Slayer? Let's see. Oh, I can use it as much as I want. Just 24 hours per target. Battering Blast from Storyteller. And now one enemy is pushed back, knocked down, and take, took like close to five, 300 damage. Damn. Karamzada runs up. And... Uh-oh. Electricity. Of course. Okay, Wolgif, what did you do? I don't think he did much of anything. Yeah, nope. Galu cast the uh, whole monster on him. That's it. Alright. Um... Just run up and cast weird. Go get him, Ninja. Oh, forgot about that guy. Else you got infringing win. What the hell did you cast? Winds of Vengeance. Okay. Summon Elder Elemental. Quality. Oh, everything about you is so horrible. Holy work probably won't help either. Eagle Soul. Alright, of course you missed. Okay, as for you, just equip a bow. Hold on. 
Do I have any actual longbows that I would give to you? Probably not. Oh wait, I found some plus two composite longbows. Just shoot. You rolled a three on the die. Everybody's surviving you. Fix that. <sighs> so, will Arsenal actually heal anybody? She's gone. Arabeth isn't doing much. But she's doing something. Right. Enemies Bane. Take seven attacks on this Baylor right in front of her. Miss, miss. Well, we only roll four or five on the die. Uh. Hmm. This might take a while. so many NPCs in the fight it just makes it drag out for me. Alright. Brave War, you can move. Excellent. What does Master Slayer do? As a standard action, make a single attack against a steady target. There's full attack bonus. The attack succeeds, the target takes damage normally. Tries to succeed a fort save. Let's see. Wait. If the attack succeeds. Oh, okay, so it, can, it has a chance to kill. But only against the study target. So, quarry. No, not, not quarry. Study target. And then assassinate or master slayer. Good luck. Nope. Storyteller is pretty much like the galleys. He can cast two spells every turn, apparently. The 
Familia was reduced to 1 HP. This combat is taking quite a bit of time. <laughs> Six hours is like... <laughs> yeah, I'm worried it's going to actually do that. Reborn Galu All right. No. Okay. So, every time you rest, that happens. I doubt it. Just past her. Okay. Social attack. Yeah, the fiend needs to be gone. Nevia's doing nothing. This condition is irrational. Oof. That's it? Just one attack? Wonderwalk might not be able to be commanded, but at least he, she can shoot. First short bow. Yeah. I need your assistance. Oh no, I can't provide this for some reason. Arabesque getting shit done now. Good job, Trendelev. You really showed my party what's what. Really feeling the effects of that ice breath. Way to go. We're really hurting now. Good job. I fucking hate you. Oh, God. Alright. Let's see. Moving on. 
So if it's time to, if it ever gets time to like reload this, don't send these enemy, don't send my allies anywhere near where Maria feels like hanging out. Ugh. Sorry. Man, I'm tired. I'm real. Let's see. Rainbow failed to kill their target. What is this? Corey? Corey, and then attack. Simply business. One. And then it seems. Oh, no, two attacks. Three attacks, and each attack is reducing it, this Baylor strength by two. So minus eight to his strength. Ninio, you're almost down. Let's see. Don't really have a whole lot to do. Uh, cast Polar Ray on this Raylor. See if that does anything. What? What happened there? Alright, no. Nothing. All right. Are oh, you starting over? No, no, not yet. Ninio actually pulled through and hit him with a polar ray. Just does dex damage. I was hoping it would do more strength damage. Then the shadow demon. <sighs> okay. Just a meme. I know. Oh no. Who could have foreseen that happening? <laughs> Alright.
guess this cast Firestorm? No. Nice body? No. Creeping Doom. And that's it. Okay, sadly, this fight is going to take way too long if I keep going into turn-based mode. So, I'm going to turn on, or turn off the turn-based mode combat, and we'll see how it goes. I'm sure things will turn out fine. Maybe. Like, uh... Now the game doesn't know what to do. Oh. Damn. Brave War was too good. Why do you say that? Graybor killed the tar it killed the Baylor, but the Baylor blew up and then killed uh yeah. No, not him. Um it killed Camilla with the explosion. Down, Windowog's unresponsive. Like she's helping kill the enemies, she just won't take orders. So this is you. No one else is on you. Never mind. Camilla's still up. Yeah. Need a spoon, speak for it. <laughs> Guess so. Ice body. War. Study your target. And then Master Slayer. Didn't work. Alright. That's it. This constitution is just too bad. Yeah, for forcing demons to make fort saves isn't really working out. This creeping death is putting in work though. Like the swarms are doing a lot. Ron's dog, Lan are down, Anivia is down. Your turn. Did 
to rock me soldier. Go get him. Ah, he's taking a sweet time. It's like it's looking like we're gonna win. It's just taking so long. <laughs> It's a nice sign to all the characters that you collect in the thread. You didn't have to. <laughs> you actually have people to help. You can just kill them all for being collected. All right, Gray Boar, go get him. <laughs> miss, miss, hit for minus two in strength. Miss, miss. And two more misses. Icy prison mass. Whoa. Didn't work. Could still move. Dang. Hold this down. Lon's down. Anivia's down. Arabesque down. Terrible's down. The worthless one is down. <laughs> Alright, now Camellia is down. Victory is worth the pain. If you say so. Go get him, window up. I must withdraw. Alright, Tarendalev killed another Baylor, which unfortunately means it blew up in her face. Go get him, Grey Boar. Hit for 45 damage. Then start missing. Alright. Yep. Alright, the storyteller is up and about. Now to cast the real spells to spell magic on a specific target, along with chain lightning. So any protections they had don't matter. And all attacks missed Greybor. Drop let's turn. I don't know, Windwalk's turn. Oh boy, another one down. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. Well, that sucks. I don't want everybody to die. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call it. <laughs> okay, gonna try to rest. come back. Come back. No, that's not a rest thing. That's a combat thing that's gonna happen regardless. That's why they warn you about who you t who you leave behind before you even go into threshold.
Don't try to make up rules. You'll wind up screwing yourself over by convincing yourself you can't rest in com when you clearly should be in a position where you need to rest. But that's it, and we're going to stop here. Thanks, everybody, who stopped by for Wrath of the Righteous. I'll be back later, either tonight, or, yeah, tonight, maybe tomorrow morning I'll play Pathfinder Kingmaker, but that's about it. Uh, see you then, and until then, take care.